Well, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Miss Crochet and Coffee here. And today we have a sneak peek. I know, I know it's been a little bit, hasn't it? All right, so thank you to Diamond Art Club for providing us with this sneak peek. So we're gonna do some movie magic and get into this box. There we go, safety first. All right, so what do we got this week? As you can tell, there is a blue strip. What does the blue strip mean? That's right. That means that it's square. So what do we have for you this week? What did Diamond Art Club send us for the diamond painting goodness? Okay, so I just noticed that they did something new here to the box, which is not new. I think I just noticed it. So this one is called Spring Ahead, which you're just looking at a bed. It's called Spring Ahead by John Salone. And there's the image, you guys. Oh my gosh, this reminds me of when we lived in a country. It is a 71 by 56. It is a square with ABs. So let's get it out of the box and take a look at it, shall we? I hope you're all having a wonderful, wonderful day. There we there. There we go. <laughs> Making sure everything's out of the box. So we got our toolkit, which will consist of, for a new square, you'll get a pair of tweezers, a couple of plates of wax, a blue squishy, a blue pen, baggies, and a clear, but y'all don't care about that. Here is the sticker that they include extra for you to put on your box, and it says, pill sticker here to use to organize your stash kits. Place it in the your log book or anywhere you'd like. So the extra sticker is that if you are someone who does keep a log of every diamond painting that you have, this is a sticker that you can put in there because a lot of people will print out the, the image. This way, you now you don't have to. They included a sticker. Or if you're not that super organized, and you just want to put it on the box so that when you put it in the closet or wherever you hang or put your diamond paintings, you know what picture is in there. You can do that. So that is a nice little bonus that they started adding there. Here is our schematic, which got a little crumpled up. We ain't worried about it. We ain't worried about it. So we got 46 colors. Y'all, is that not the most beautiful thing in the world? And do you see what's up front there? Do you see it? Did you notice? Did you notice the red tulips? Yes! So let's take a look at this kit, shall we? Because uh, that's enough rambling. Get out of your box. So this one is rolled the other way. I actually prefer it rolled with the, the kit picture side out because it doesn't seem to get the bubbles in the plastic. Whoop. So we got our drills and that, that little pamphlet that Becky likes for uh, telling you how to diamond paint. And then we have our kit. Whoa, it's a big one. But it looks like a lot of color blocking confetti. All right. So, y'all, y'all, looky, look here. We're going to roll this other way so it stops rolling up. So if you're new to Diamond Art Club or any company that sells poured glue, you can roll it the opposite way. They're very sturdy kits. You can roll it the opposite way to get rid of some of that curling in your kit. And bam. There we go. See how it sits nice and flat now? Yes. So, there we go. There we go. So, as you can see, you got the red tulips up front here, the watering can, the wheelbarrow. We got a rake here. We got some trees. We got what looks like a cherry blossom tree in the front, and we got the country house right there. This reminds me, of course, of Chuck Penson, but it is not. This artist's name is John Salone, and it tells you right there. I like how they put the name on the box now of the artist, and the image is called Springtime. Or spring ahead, I'm sorry. Spring ahead. I'm slow. I can't read, y'all. Y'all know one day I will get my life together, but today is not that day, boo-boo. All right, so let's get into these drills. So if you're someone who doesn't like the noise of the crinkling plastic, please mute your phone for like 30 seconds. Plastic drill. All right. So it looks like we have... Let's see what we got here today. Let's see what food they have included with our kit. So we have, I know you got to focus, $8.95. You got some smashed peas there. Those drills look immaculate. Oh, except for that one right there. That one has a little, little on it. $7.04. $3.10. They look good. They look good. So let's see what else we got in here. 
334, 318, 606. Yeah, it looks like those slices of watermelon when you get the really juicy watermelon. Yeah. 321, 603, 437. That's a beautiful color. It's like a peach color. Where is that going? I don't know. Hmm. 415. 739. There's another pretty little peach color. 738. Looks like skin tones. I, you would think somebody, there's like a person in this picture. 703. Eh, eh, AB alert. 125. Yes. So if you are new to diamond painting or diamond art club in general, and you don't know what an AB is, an AB stands for Aurora Borealis. It is an iridescent coating that is put on top of the drill to make it sparkle just a little bit brighter. It's supposed to resemble the northern lights or like a rainbow. You see how it's like shimmering there? All the shimmery goodness. And you're seeing this in natural light, so that shimmer is real. Good God. So, and as you can tell, compared to the ones next to it, that's how you can tell the difference between AB. Now, I did have a really good question about AB drills, and somebody asked me if you could use a regular drill pin with AB drills. Yes. All drills are created equal. You can use a pin for all drills. Special drills, you might want to get yourself a pretty placer, which is one of those crown um, wax pencils, or a wax pencil. Um, the pretty place is probably cheaper, so I'd go with a pretty place myself. But what I place now when I start, when I start placing A B drills, I will be using the pretty placer instead of my drill pen. So yes, look at that shine! Oh my goodness! And that one is number one on our legend. So num number one, and number one is going to be featured in the handle and on the wheelbarrow or the watering can here. And in this cloud, so you got some over here, you got some on the, the thing of the, the arch of the house here, the rest of that isn't, you got some more in the clouds, like it's scattered throughout the sky. Get, get out of here, plastic. There we go. Now you can see the whole picture. So what we got next? 783. Looks like caramel, doesn't it? Caramel. 604. 762. 433. 844, 646. There's our first strand. Put those over there too. Our set. This is a lot of drills, y'all. Good God. 601, 645, 742, 775, 904. 904 again. We got double trouble there. 436, 434, 3841, 938, 938, double trouble. 444, we got some sweet corn. Yes, Lord. We got double trouble on the sweet corn. Yes. 898. Eh, eh. We got sweet corn with a little bit of butter. Yes. Oh, my God. Eh, eh. A B alert. We got 130. Number 130 is number two. So number two on this kit is 130, which is an A B drill, which will be all down here in like what looks like wheat. Of course, because that's the only yellow on the canvas. So that whole patch of area is gonna sparkle like nobody's business. Yeah. So what do we got next? 37.55. 3755, we got another double trouble there. 701, 701, another double trouble there. 996. 996. Last row of drills. 996, so looks like we got double trouble there. 3819. 3325. 602, that looks like bubble gum. 3865, 435, 3371, 3371. So we got double trouble on the 3371 there. 702, and 890. Yes! So that is what comes with Spring Ahead. Again, it is a 71 by 56. But if you're looking at the bottom here, 
It gives you all the, the, the details of the canvas. So if you were getting a frame, you would need a 28 by 22, but this is a 71 by 56 centimeters. So that obviously would be in inches. John Salone is the artist and is of course licensed with Diamond Art Club. The legend is on both sides of the kit. Oh, we didn't bring you up close enough to see the beautiful bean footage of the clarity of the symbols. I'd say those symbols are really clear. They're brighter than my future. I know that. Good God. Oh, oh, there we go. Focus. So let's see where we get those ones at. See the ones in the roof there? We also got ones in the clouds. Where are they at? Where are they at? Where are they at, though? There they go. Got some ones in the clouds there. And oh, focus. There. We got some ones on the watering can. And then for your number twos, they're going to be scattered throughout the wheat right here. I'm calling it wheat. It might not be wheat, but I'm calling it wheat. So there you have it. There is our sneak peek from the, for the week called Springtime by John Salone and Diamond Art Club. Thank you so much for Diamond Art Club for providing us with this sneak peek. I greatly appreciate it. If you liked what you see and you're not yet subscribed, what are you doing with your life? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell to be notified anytime I randomly decide to put up a video. And believe me, it's random. With that said, I must now bid you farewell. Ah, Miss Coffee changing things up on you. But I really must bid you adieu. But not before I remind you, like I always try to. Never forget, wash your hands, don't touch your face, and always try to be kind, be courteous, be cool. Bye, guys!